Alright, what's up, Amayan? And today I will show you how to make multiple Android virtual machines on one single Android device. For this, we are going to be using Virtual Master Android Cologne. So it runs another Android device operating system on your Android device and you can have multiple accounts which means you can run multiple Androids, different Androids on a single phone. It's like having multiple phones on a one single phone or having multiple accounts on it. So here are all the features that you will might need. You can run games, you can run other apps, have multiple apps on it. If you want to use multiple versions of a single app, you can do that. Also, here are some troubleshooting methods. If you have anything else, you can check from this description. I will provide this Play Store link in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. First of all, go to Visual Master and we need to download it. This is save and you can have multiple Android systems, unlimited Android VMs, app background support, fast and easy interface. These are some features. Just simply download it and open it up. Agree to the privacy notice. And here you can see this is how it's going to look like. So here you can create VM, backup and restore, floating window and enable preview mode. Here are some also VIP subscription which requires you to pay but I will not recommend that you pay. You can use the free version and have multiple VMs running. But it will also provide you with some benefits. Here are some settings. You can change your language and theme. There is nothing to change around here. So you can have multiple settings, different settings for your different VMs. Here are some Android 5, 7 and 9 options available. You can download Android 5 and 9, but Android 7 is pre-downloaded, so you do not need to download it. Let's hit next. I would recommend that you go with device resolution, portrait, or if you want to use portrait. You can also change this resolution later. You can name your VM. I'm not going to name it. I'm still going to use it as it is. I'm going to show you how to change the layout. Here you can change the layout like this. I like this one, so... You can also enable floating window settings if you into that. Okay, now let's. The preview mode is kind of in the paid section, so we're not gonna go there. Simply start it and it will install the file system. This is gonna take about one to two minutes. Let's wait for it. Okay, now we have booted into our virtual machine. As you can see, the icons are kind of a little small. This is because of the resolution. You can change the resolution later. Here are some settings that you can see right from here. There are some display settings. You can change these settings right here. Here are some other settings like you can also do check for Wi-Fi this is kind of a name that is different from my original Wi-Fi which means you can change it also there is a different IP address it's like running a whole different Android system here are some pre-installed apps you can import other apps as well here you can see you can turn on developer options and check for developer option settings if you want to use that as well Mostly I like this because I will like to run multiple versions of a single game. Here is the browser. Let me show you what is my IP address. So I'm gonna search for what's my IP. This will show a different IP address than the original of my phone. As you can see right from here. This is pretty much very different than the original one. And... There are some other things as well. You can import files if you want to use files. You can also import the apps. I'm going to show you right here. It is a list of all the apps available that I have installed on my phone. So I'm going to be installing this game and this one as well. Let's wait for the importing to continue complete then we will be okay one app is now imported as you can see right from here and let's open it up and see how it's gonna work so as you can see it is from entirely a new different app version 
it has not saved any progress it is like completely installing for the first time uh, also you can run multiple apps if you run multiple vms and install the same version of apps in all of these different versions then you will have different apps on different android devices and also if the back button is not working you can use this this is very helpful you can change settings right from there no need to be any afraid if the buttons are not working you can use this okay what else can you do you can also import stuff like images and I have images stored right here kind of like privacy is gonna work for you take different photos camera is gonna work may or may not be also here is the VM settings if you wanna use Google services simply just enable it and this will restart the virtual machine and then you will have Google Play services enabled and you can use Google services right from there. If you are into privacy and do not want to use Google Play services then do not need to turn that on. But if you want to use Google Play services like Google Play Store right here you can use that after enabling these settings. If you have suddenly selected wrong resolution, you can change the resolution back to normal or you can select add a resolution of custom resolution, whichever one you want to use. That's up to you. I recommend that you go with the, the default resolution because my phone is a Note 9 and it's supporting 1440p so that is why it was showing a little bigger, a little smaller than usual and also this is showing a little bit and now you can change add resolution you can also change your refresh rates if you have a higher refresh rate screen then you can set it manually and floating window settings navigation bar and all of these hardware functions are different now you can see my phone model is node 9 but here it is showing as pixel 4 which means my phone is completely hidden from the virtual machine and you can have a different phone right in your virtual machine which is pretty great for privacy you can also stop and restart virtual machines or you can simply shut it down here are some other settings that you can change but I'm not gonna change it for now what else can you do well I have not pretty much explored it but you can do it on your own right also I can create multiple if you wanna use Android 9 or Android 5 then we need to download it this is gonna take some time as well and it's gonna take a little bit of extra storage to install it then you will be able to install Android 9 Android 11 is coming soon it is gonna take some time to come and then you will be able to install Android 11 on your Android device after you have done using or do not want to use anymore simply just delete the virtual machine anyway that's been it thanks for watching I will catch you in the next one take care goodbye